Hey there, thanks for watching. This is Christiana on the Well Behaved Wallet, and whether or not you're ready, the holidays are coming and may in fact already be here. So this is a video where I take some time to sit down and walk you through my process and show you the little bit of planning that I'm doing to help make the holidays go a little bit smoother this year. So if you're interested in seeing that, stick around. I don't know much, but I'm willing to bet that almost nobody has a holiday season that goes exactly according to plan, like 100% according to plan. I do know that having a plan, no matter how small, makes things easier because a plan keeps you headed in the right direction and helps you know exactly where you're heading. Even if you don't come anywhere near it, having a plan makes all the difference. So if you take nothing else from this video, please let me encourage you to spend just like 20 minutes planning out your holiday because that makes all the difference. Now I have an entire playlist on what I do to help me get ready for the holidays. I use an email countdown system called the Countdown to Christmas and I've done that for the past five years and it's made a huge difference in my life and in my sort of holiday um, stress level for sure. And I will link down to that playlist below. So I'll walk you through kind of my process. The first place I start is looking at what happened last year, what went right, what went wrong, um, and really more how this reflects in my numbers, right? So I looked at all of my spending and I categorized them into all my spending into five different categories. Those categories are as follows. I have gifts, groceries, food out, clothing, and gas. So really what it boils down to is what do your numbers show? So for gifts, I spent $321, and that includes $100 for my mom, $20 for coworkers, $60 for different fundraisers that popped up, and $100 for a friend to support her through a situation that kind of cropped up um, last year, um, $34 for vodka, I don't know who that went to, but they're lucky, uh, and then $35 for... Um, the Dollar Tree for gifts, gift making supplies. So that was supplies that I used to make handmade gifts. Um, and all of that is $321. The next category is groceries. And there I spent $688. And that included things that are super special that I look forward to having for Christmas, Christmas Eve, what have you. Um, and those things were some of the things that I bought that I don't usually buy are things like smoked salmon, antipasta platter, crumb fresh, which is like sour cream, only has a higher fat content, is a little bit more sour, it's delicious. Um, dates, goat cheese, and things for various like potluck supplies, like I'll do, um, I'll make, make a dish and put it in like a, a take and go. Thing. So all of that, those supplies together were $688. For food out, I spent $249. For clothing, I spent $134. And then for gas, I spent $308. And this is for the months of November and December all together. So that's, in, that's including my day-to-day -day expenses. So all of those together, those five categories, totaled $1,700. And that's what I spent on the holidays last year, 2018. So fast forward to this year and looking ahead and kind of trying to plan what I am doing for this year. So some expenses that came up that I didn't, that I'm going to have this year that I'm not going to have, um, or that I didn't have last year and I have this year are things like plane ticket, hotel, and airport transportation. I am traveling to Nashville to spend Thanksgiving with my sister and I'm super excited to do that, but that's an expense I just need to fold into my holiday planning. So that's an added expense there, but I want to stick with those five categories, gifts, groceries, food out, gas, and clothing, and kind of try to tweak and see what we're doing this year and use that as a plan for this year. Use last year as a plan for this year. So for gifts, I'm going to stick right around that $300 mark. Um, and I think the one thing that I would do differently is to be more intentional in my gift making and do that quickly because I feel like I, I held off last year. I waited until like mid December to start making things for coworkers and I ended up kind of try, having to scramble a little bit um, and spend more because I wasn't really sure if I was going to make them gifts. There was, there was just some uncertainty there. So this year what I'm going to do differently in the gift giving area is just be more intentional with my coworkers, plan something, execute it, and then get it out the door done. Um, so that's my budget for gifting. 
I haven't really decided what that will be, but that's my plan. Uh, groceries, I'm going to come down to 500 because I am traveling. I'm um, not going to be making a huge Thanksgiving or Christmas uh, Thanksgiving spread. So that will be a little bit lighter there. But I still look forward to having those things. Um, so for Christmas, I'm for sure going to, to have those things around. And there will still be other gatherings coming up. Um, friends gatherings locally. So for food out, I'm budgeting $250, which I actually think that that's a fine and reasonable amount for two months because I enjoy meeting friends at like restaurants and having a drink with them and, and just, just being together. I think that's, that's a perfectly fine amount. And um, for gas, I have $300. Nothing huge is going to change there. For clothing, I'm budgeting $150 because, again, that was something that I really looked forward to last year. I loved having new clothes, and that that even kind of, like, soothed me a little bit. And I would call that a little bit self-care because um, I, I, nobody has a perfect holiday. That's one thing I can say for certain is that no holiday goes 100% according to plan. But for me, I feel like being able to spend that extra money and having that in the budget for clothing helps me feel a little bit better and it makes me look forward to the season. And in the end, that I feel like there's that's what that's all about is the anticipation and the joy and the excitement. There, so I'm keeping that hundred dollars, hundred and fifty dollars for um, for clothing in there. I'm adding in another category, and that is a miscellaneous spending category of hundred dollars, and that's that is for those things like those fundraisers that come up, or those things where you want to give someone an extra gift that you weren't thinking of. That I think is really important for me because that's all that's part of the, this the holiday spirit as well as being able to give something to someone um, that wasn't expecting it, and sometimes you're not even expecting to give that person something. So I think for me, having that built into the holiday plan is going to be a, a big sort of um, relief is, is having that, being able to budget for that ahead of time. So that's what I'm looking at for holiday plan in 2019. Um, again, this is all subject to change and it's interesting to look back on your plan and how, how much you vary from your plan in the moment. Things seem, um, seem like they're uh, I don't want to say they seem like they're necessary, but there are some things that come up that you can't necessarily anticipate for. It just, it just is what it is. So that's my plan for spending for a holiday 2019. Holiday spending aside, here are some other things that I'm planning on doing this year just a little bit differently that will hopefully help me save money. Because I have a hunch based on kind of what I've, I've observed for myself from previous years. So one thing that really worked that I did last year that I'm aiming to do this year as well is really be strict with myself on keeping a cleaning routine because I love the feeling of having a clean house. Who doesn't? But around these sort of winter, colder, late fall, early winter months when the light is getting... Um, the days are getting shorter. It's tough for me personally to motivate to stick with that cleaning routine. Um, but what I did last year was I really um, helped myself stay on that, like reminded myself how important that was. And that really worked well in my overall mindsets. That was huge, is really being intentional and disciplined about having a cleaning routine. Number two is laundry. And I feel like whatever your situation, laundry can tend to sort of pile up. And then with all the other additional obligations, laundry is just one more thing that's like, uh, that's thrown on there. So really being strict, um, and again, disciplined with myself and keeping up with a laundry routine. I try to do a load every day and just get it in and, and processing. So I don't have a whole bunch of clothes at the end of the week when I'm tired, and I don't want to do anything. So that's number two. Number three is that I am going to go through what I have in, especially in my travel drawers and in those random junk drawers and try to find as many um, and, and as many usable things as I can from what I already have. So the plan is to use what I already have so that I don't end up having to buy new things. And ultimately, I feel like this will help me be calmer and more peaceful as I approach the season because I know a lot of my own personal sort of struggles and anxiety comes from feeling like I don't have what I need. And I know that because I've seen it in the past, having a clear idea of exactly what I have and exactly what I need allows me to save money. Case in point. Okay, I'll give you an example because I'm recently, I'm on the, in the process of doing another sort of clean sweep of my closets. 
and I am reorganizing and kind of trying to cut down and, and organize um, better what I have. And I have these Sterilite 66 quart plastic storage containers. And I love them because they don't have the little divot that like dips in on the front side. It's just a straight, um, a straight side. And I like that because I feel like it's just a smoother uh, look overall. So I really like them. And they're about $9 to go and pick up from like Target or Walmart or somewhere. So I saw I have one and I figured I could use, I'd love another one as kind of a reward for the organizing that I've done. And so I was about to go to Target and get them. Um, and I like literally had it in my hand and I was going to spend that $9 and I was like, let me see what I have at home. Cause I could picture an area and I, I saw in my mind a storage, like a, a corner that I had that had um, like a sleeping bag in it. And it, there was a container and I didn't know what type of a container it was, but I'm thinking, let me just go check and see what it is. Um, what type of storage container it is because maybe I'll be able to repurpose that. So I put back the, the container at Target. I did not purchase it, put on the brakes, right? And I went home and I checked and sure enough, it was that exact same style of container, the 66 quart Sterilite locking edge container. And I was like, what are the chances? Because I did not purchase that container. That was not purchased by me. Um, and it was a, a couple of years older. Like I could tell that it was like a different color because it was a different color that it was a different year, but it didn't matter. It was exactly the same size that I needed and exactly the type that I needed. And I'm like done $9 saved. So these little teeny tiny hats, $9 here, $5 there, $40 from making my lunch instead of buying it, things like this, I found super add up. So although, and I'll come back to my holiday plan, there's this year, my budget is about $769 more than last year. And that's entirely due to travel. And I figure that here and there, I have some, I've set aside some in savings, um, which I prefer to not have to use and to be able to roll over into next year, but it's there if I need it. Um, and that's, I mean, I'm talking not a lot. I'm talking maybe $800. So just enough to cover this travel, but I'm like, if I can roll that over, that would be better. So I'm trying these like little teeny tiny hacks to make up that difference in other places. So that is my number three tip. Use what you already have, know what you have and use it. So that is my plan for the hot mess holidays of 2019. Um, and again, I'll link down to the playlist that I have on what I do for the holidays. It's the same system. I'm doing that again this year. It works really well for me. So again, thank you for watching and uh, let me know what you're planning to do this holiday for your budget. What does your budget look like? Are you looking forward to the holidays this year? So thanks again and I hope you'll keep watching. Bye.